This is a Lincolnshire Spirit Seekers podcast. This is about Spectrophilia. S P E C T R O P H I L I A. Sexual encounters with spirits. And here are two cases. Names will not be mentioned, and the following is in their words from a from a national paper. My ghost lover is really special, wise, stable and kind. I am 100% sure it's a male or female, but I found true love. We met when I went on a trip to Australia earlier this year. Spirits usually remain in one place, but I'm delighted at this one. Followed me back to the UK. I was happy and excited, so excited in fact we headed to the plain. Lou, I'm now a member of the Mile High Club. Orgasms I I have with my spirit lovers have been way deeper and more satisfying than any I've had with an ordinary man. I've given up sleeping with human men. Ghost sex is deeper, more passionate, and at least seems more natural. You sense the presence. You can feel the energy. Although there's no body to be touched, you can sense that we're being touched. I know it sounds crazy. But I'm looking forward to having a ghost baby. I don't think it's totally out of the question. I believe phantom pregnancies where well, a woman experiences pregnancy symptoms where there is no fetus is actually a ghost baby. I've always held, had an ability to communicate with supernatural. I first started having spiritual sex when I was 18 and engaged. I, su- I was getting undressed on my bed when I suddenly felt fingers fluttering their way down my spine and a sloth whispering sound, but no words from behind in my ear. It made me shudder all over, but in a really nice way. Next thing I knew, I was being turned around and embraced. The energy was all consuming, and before I knew it, I was on the bed in the throes of ghost induced ecstasy. My engagement ended when my fancy. I turned one afternoon to find me in bed wearing stockings, suspenders and a brass brisette and a tiny g-string. He believed that I was having hiding a lover, the raw flesh and bone kind, and ran to the room looking for him. That's when I told him. I said, you'll never be able to look, find him because the man we were looking for was a ghost. He immediately packed his belongings and left. After that, I decided that real men were in trouble than their worth, and that ghost lovers were the way forward. They don't buy me flowers or take me out for dinner, but they make me feel special in other ways. One drew hearts in a consultation in my window. I'm not the only one who prefers spiritual lovers. They often and have offered counselling to people going through rough patches in relationship with ghosts. And another lady says, After splitting up with my long-term boyfriend three years ago, I rented a 16th century cottage in Aberriffriffs in West Wales. I was immediately taken by a painting of a handsome man above the mantelpiece, which drew, which dated back to 1820. A few months after I moved in, I woke one morning to find a dark-haired, very good-looking man lying next to me. He was fully clothed in a loose white shirt, a neck scarf and old-fashioned breeches. He had a kind of shimmer to them, as if he was behind a fluttering volail curtain. I told myself I was dreaming and rolled away from him. As I faced the wall, I suddenly realised I wasn't asleep, and suddenly I was frozen with fear. I felt a hand on my waist, but the touch was strange, light and cool. I looked at the man again and realised he was the one from the painting. We ended up making love for an hour. He was very gentle. Even when he moved on top of me, pressing down, he felt almost weightless. It was strange, but the sex was amazing. We made love three times before he vanished forever. I I sobbed when he left. I guess I had fallen in love. When I told a couple of close friends about it, they looked at me as if I was mad, so I just laughed it off, said something about eating too much cheese, then kept quiet afterwards. And this is what 
experts are saying it possibly could be. Although the experience of making love with a ghost feels very real, it could be down to hallucination, writes psychotherapist Tina Radstivik, A R A D V I S E R V I C Z. These tend to occur when a person is drifting off to sleep or waking up. Such hallucinations be, can be extremely vivid and bizarre and conclude tactile, visual and auditory. Um, they are more certain, more common in younger adults and women, and certain drugs prescribed by le- le- or legal, illegal make them more likely. Like dreams, the subject of hypogogalic, H Y P N A G O G I C, the state from wakefulness to sleep, or hypopomalic. H Y P O N O P O M P I C from sleep to wakefulness. Hallucination can often be something that's seen being on your mind. Stress, anxiety, depression, and trauma can also make people more prone to this form of hallucination. And the following explanation has been offered by Ghost Hunter and author of Ghost Sex of Violation. G. L. Lewis Davis. People are always opening up about their experiences with hundreds of men and women willing to share it in their, st- their stories. In the past f- four years, more than 15,000 people have searched ghost sex at Paranormal News websites. The ParanormalChronicles.com. This highlights. What a mass of people are feeling lonely, frustrated, and sexually disconnected to people around them. You must be mindful not to dismiss the notion that something incredible, sometimes terrifying, is happening to people all around the world. But at the same time, we have to take this account psychological conditions that may be behind the spectrophilia phenomenon. I think it's a telling sign that this new age is all of online dating, social media hookups that so many are now evol- looking towards other realms for the special involvement and out of ordinary relationship with a strongly entity. Maybe some of their affections of a spirit are far more loving, arousing and comforting than a person on this planet could ever offer. So this has been a Lincolnshire Spirit Seekers podcast about... Speech, spectrophilia, S-P-E-C-T-O-P-H-I-L-I-A.